Today we're going to consider some thoughts from Psalm 122. Psalm 122, verse 1. It says, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Here, David is writing here, and he's expressing his joy and the anticipation that he had for being able to go to the temple in order to engage in worship to God with others who would be gathered there. Now, of course, today we don't go to Jerusalem, to the temple, as he was writing about, in order to go and worship God. However, this attitude that he talked about here is the same attitude that we need to have. Are we glad when someone says, let us go to worship the Lord? Let us go and assemble with brothers and sisters in Christ in order to praise Him, and in order to encourage one another to engage in worship together. Is that something that we look forward to? Is that something that we view with gladness, or do we simply see it as a chore, as an obligation, something that we don't really want to do, but we feel like we have to do it? If we see worship, and we see assembling with the church as something that is a burden, as something that is a chore, something that we don't really want to do, then that's an indication that we need to evaluate and fix our attitude about God, about service to Him, worship to Him, about the assembly of the saints. We need to, we need to recognize the privilege it is to be able to assemble, to be able to worship God, to be able to gather together with others in order to share in that event and that experience of worshiping God. Do we see that as something that is good? Or do we see this as something that we have to do, but we don't really want to do? We need to have this attitude that David expressed here in Psalm 122 and verse 1, that we are glad when we have the opportunity to assemble with others to worship God. So let's always look forward to these times, whether it is on Sunday or other times where we have opportunities to gather, to worship, and to assemble with others. Let's look forward to these times with gladness. Let's never think of them as a burden, but instead assemble together, take advantage of these times to worship God and to encourage one another.